More and more people want to add solar to their RV to offer a bit more freedom on their journeys. Being able to camp anywhere without traditional power or protect oneself in an outage situation is desirable for RVers. There are many people who have the know-how to add solar to their own RV. But what can you do if you are unable to add a solar system to your RV? Is there a solution for you? Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. RV solar, to solar or not to solar? That is the question. Many RVers are very interested in solar. In fact, manufacturers are building more robust solar capabilities directly into the build with larger inverters, actually wiring solar panels from the roof down to the batteries. So this is something that is not going away. And in fact, when we decided that we were gonna be traveling full time in an RV and selling our house and everything we own, I knew for sure that I wanted to have solar on the RV. So I began my investigation. I went to some forums on Facebook and on Reddit and asked some questions and the answers were surprising. It seems that a lot of people that are involved with solar and offering advice in these forums are all or nothing types. They will tell you that you have to put solar all over your roof and run all these cables down and put these extensive battery systems into your RV. There's just no other way to do it. Well, let's face it, folks. I'm a web designer. It's not my wheelhouse. I am not going to be able to get on the roof, drill holes, run cables down, do all of these things to have a viable solar system on the RV. So the next thing I started doing is looking for RV solar installers. And I found some throughout the country, and this was a year ago. So I think the industry was growing very fast and there were all kinds of shops that were opening up. But the people that I did contact throughout the country were booked for six, eight, 10 months. And the prices they were quoting to install solar was ridiculous, I mean, 15, $20,000 to get a decent amount of solar on this RV. So I started thinking, well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to recoup my money. The, the return on investment is not there for me. I mean, I don't know how long we're keeping this RV. We may sell it in a year, two years. We may buy a houseboat. We may buy a log cabin in the mountains. Who knows what we're gonna do? I just wasn't willing to put that kind of money into this RV. It just didn't seem like a good investment for me. Now, here's another part of the puzzle. You gotta decide what you wanna do with solar. Some people that really wanna deck out their RVs and these solar activists that you would find in these forums, they wanna boondock for weeks at a time, a month at a time, they wanna go out into the desert, into the middle of nowhere, and I think that's commendable. I think it's really cool. And maybe one day we'll do something along those lines. But my idea of having RV solar was that maybe we go to a boondocking situation for a day or two and harvest hosts on the way to a location. Or maybe I stop at a friend's house for three, four, maybe five days. Now admittedly, when I first started this journey, I did not know a ton about solar. I knew some basic stuff. I kept researching it. What was my next best option? I started looking at portable solar power stations. And I thought there's gotta be some kind of a solution out there because technology is moving very fast, particularly when it comes to battery storage. Eventually, I came across a couple of high-end companies that were developing the technology that I was looking for. Really nice batteries, solar generators. Basically, you, you plug your panels into them and then they charge. And then you can plug that directly to your RV. That's when I found EcoFlow. And I kept reading about it and I was astonished at how powerful they were claiming these batteries were. For starters, it does have a 30 amp output that you can put directly to your RV. And with the power station that I have, it's the EcoFlow Delta Pro, you can add 1600 watts of charging capacity just from solar panels. Now this might be something I can do, it's plug and play, right? So I bit the bullet. I got an EcoFlow Delta Pro, I did get an extra battery, and I got three foldable 400 watt solar panels. So basically I would have 1200 watts of solar capacity if it was running at max, and I would have 7.2 kilowatt hours or 7200 watt hours of battery storage. Now I know a lot of naysayers out there would say, there's no way you're gonna be able to run your RV effectively with just that little amount of power. But that's not true. I've done quite a bit of testing with these batteries and I have found some amazing results. The big issue is gonna be the air conditioning units. If I didn't run the AC, 
and I was just charging these batteries with my 1200 watt solar panels, I could run this RV probably indefinitely because it only sucks about maybe 200 watts to 600 watts depending on what we're doing. But generally all night long it's running 200, 300 watts to run the refrigerator, maybe a couple TVs. No big deal, right? But you kick on an AC unit and it just drains that battery fast. My solution was I put a couple Smart Start RV kits on one on each AC unit. What this allows is for you to run both ACs off of a 30 amp output. I actually did a video about how we did that. You can click on the link up above and see more about that. So running two ACs on these batteries does eat a lot of watt hours. Fast too. There's no way to charge fast enough run both ACs and keep this RV going. So I understand why the solar activists say what they say, that you cannot have enough power with these batteries to do what you wanna do. Aha, there is a solution though. Before I get to that, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe, like what we're doing, and comment, ask us questions. We love to interact with you folks out there. Before I get to the solution, how I can boondock almost indefinitely off of the system I have, I want to talk a little bit more about the capability of the EcoFlow Delta Pro. First of all, 1600 watts of solar charging capacity. You can charge it with your car battery. You can charge it at EV stations. You can charge it with a generator. Plus, you can multi-charge this thing so I can actually for example, if I were boondocking or staying at a friend's house and they had a, an extension cord, I could run that 15 amp extension cord to the back of the batteries, charge with that, and also charge with my solar panels. But there's really some more cool features. It's highly expandable. EcoFlow Delta Pro is 3600 watt hours or 3.6 kilowatts. I can expand that one battery by adding two other batteries, each of them 3600 watt hours, taking me up to 10,800 watt hours or 10.8 kilowatt hours just on that battery bank system. It's portable. So if I were to buy a houseboat or if I were to buy a log cabin or another RV, whatever our hearts might desire, I can take them with me. Another cool thing, if you're a homeowner, you could actually daisy chain two EcoFlow Delta Pros together through a control panel, expand both systems out two batteries and end up with something like 25,000 watt hours or 25 kilowatt hours of battery storage. These batteries can take a wallop. 3,600 watt output on the AC on the EcoFlow Delta Pro. It has an X boost where you can bump that up to 4,500 watts. So you can run heavy equipment and machines, all kinds of stuff off these batteries. So they're very powerful as far as their capability. They're highly expandable and they're portable. That's why I chose the EcoFlow Delta Pro and I haven't regretted it since. I love it. Now let's get back to how can I boondock for days at a time, run both ACs and never have an issue. It's very simple. They also sell a product called Smart Generator. The Smart Generator will plug directly into the second port on your EcoFlow Delta Pro. So I have one extra battery, but there's another slot I would plug the generator into. It monitors the batteries. If they drain down to 20%, it'll automatically kick on and charge them up to 100% or whatever parameters you set. The smart generator has a gas tank that can hold 1.05 gallons of gas. EcoFlow is saying that you can get 4,500 watt hours off of one gallon of gas, basically. So with a five gallon gas can, my solar panels, and the smart generator, I could definitely boondock for as long as I want. For those people out there that do not have solar, that are wanting to get into solar or are gonna buy an RV, maybe you're a weekend warrior, maybe you're gonna go hunting, you wanna have some kind of extra power, these batteries are perfect. And the life cycle on these batteries is really amazing. If I remember correctly, it's like 3,500 times that you can drain them and charge them again. Basically, you would have these batteries for years and years and years. You will get your money back out of them. I think it's a win-win, especially for people that are traveling in their RVs. How cool is that? Let me take you outside and show you how I actually set this system up so I can run it, I can close all my cargo doors, and these things run silent, out of sight. The EcoFlow Delta Pro has several outlets, regular 15 amp, multiple USB, and a 30 amp plug for your RV. I'm able to run my Starlink cable, RV power cord, and solar panel cables directly from the batteries while closing the cargo bin door to keep my batteries safe from thieves and weather conditions. This is an ideal setup for us. Thank you for watching. So now you know.